Hello and welcome! In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at some amazing trees from the Caribbean islands. Typically, when you think of the Caribbean, you think of palm trees like these that are right here, but there are so many different types. Some are for beauty, some are for food, some are for medicinal purposes, and some are actually poisonous. I'm Marlene and welcome to my home and garden channel. So in today's video, we are looking at just trees and shrubs. And in this case, this is a beautiful hibiscus. You can see it's a beautiful pink one that we have here. And this one is not a hybrid. And hummingbirds actually just love this shrub. And there's one hiding around the corner there. It was such a pleasant surprise, you know, to have just encountered it. I'm telling you, the camera does not do it justice. It was one of the most beautiful hummingbirds I had ever seen. And this was actually on my trip to the Bahamas. We were right next to um, a church and this was a little building across the street there. And off he went. And next year we have the chenille flower also referred to as monkey tail sometimes it's called cat tail puss tail i'm sure you can look at it and see exactly why it is such a bright radiant beautiful shade of red just absolutely gorgeous and here we have the poinciana and this is actually in the same family as beans and peas mimosas and all of those plants and it shows that beautiful red flower just covering over almost completely in the summertime it has like large bean pods as well too this right here is actually called the Pride of India, and this one was found in Portland in um, Jamaica. And I think it reminds me a lot of the, um, the myrtle, crepe myrtle, for those who have that. It looks a lot like it, except in this case it has a large trunk, just one solid trunk coming down. Well, as you may, you know, think about it, um, the crepe myrtle um, actually has, you know, like the, the, the trunk is divided. And it has similar little berries on there too, if you can look at them and see that it's similar as well too. And here we have the plumeria, and this one is the white one, referred to as the wedding flower sometimes. There are also, of course, pink, you know, um, red and peach varieties to this as well. Very, very gorgeous plant. And this right here, it's almost like a pothos, similar to that. This is a vine that actually is running up on this palm tree. And this palm tree is maybe like about I'd say maybe about 40 feet up and this plant just ran all the way up on it. So I thought I'd show that as well, even though, you know, it's not a tree or a shrub, but it's being supported by one and it's just absolutely gorgeous. So it's not always about, you know, those, um, you know, necessarily bright colors. It's just very refreshing, nice, bright, beautiful shades of green there. And right here now we have a coconut. That's what we're going to be looking at next. And this is actually a mature coconut right here in the center. The husk is still on it. If you look around it, you'll see it's surrounded by the dried ones where you can see the hard shell there. And that's basically what you'd break open. And then, you know, um, the flesh is used to make coconut milk or it can be used to make coconut oil and all the other wonderful benefits that come from the coconut fruit. And this is what it looks like on the tree here, guys. I just wanted you to see the different stages of development for the coconut. On the left, you'll see that we have the more mature ones. On the right that one's kind of in between and of course we have the little baby ones at the top there which i had some of the flowers to show you but this was not in bloom at the time and of course the one on the left that i spoke about earlier that one is when you get the um the liquid that inside as the you know the, the water that's in there that is so refreshing and that you'll get sometimes you know you can buy those um in the u.s and, and different places you know that don't necessarily have those so I thought this was just a really nice stage to catch the coconut tree at. And now next we have um, the banana. This is a bunch of green bananas here. This is also in Portland in Jamaica. And um, bananas, they bear just one bunch. Each bunch has can have anywhere from three to maybe up to nine hands sometimes. And then the hand is composed of individual um, bananas or they call them fingers of bananas. So you have the fingers, the hand, and then the bunch. Once that um, one bunch has matured, then it's going to die and the younger ones that are next to it will come up and fill in behind it. So you always have those, you know, keep coming. And right here is a mature um, bunch of bananas that you can see here. Some have started to ripen already. And next we have the national fruit. This is Aki. The skin is red, the seeds are black and the flesh is yellow. And that's what's used, used to make the national dish. And this is one of the trees right here. And I'll, I'll link at the end for you as well too previous video that I did that shows you the national dish 
and how it is served at breakfast time and also at different times of the day too. So this is what the, uh, the ackee tree looks like and that pretty much grows everywhere on the island. And next here we have what's called the Ota Iti apple or some people say uh, Iti Oti. It's pronounced in many different ways but it's very refreshing for a fair amount of sugar, lots of water. And here we have the sweet top. This is very, very sweet. And this grows in, you know, various areas too, rural areas and in the cities as well. And this is lychee, not found in most areas of Jamaica, but like you see, if you were to say, go to Castleton Gardens and you would have it there. And this is very, very good for you. So you could definitely take a look at that. And now here we have some, um, some papayas. And for the papayas, the more mature fruit is towards the bottom of the tree. And then as you go further up, you'll have the younger ones. And I wanted to give you a closer look too, to see, you know, like how it's shaped and how everything comes together. And this right here is um, coffee. You know, we're famous for um, Blue Mountain coffee in Jamaica. That's what the berries look like. And if you see the leaves, you can see why they call the gardenia plant, the coffee plant. And right here we have an almond tree. Isn't it lovely how the sky is just looking beautiful right there? And guys, if you have made this this far in the video, I do hope that you will hit the subscribe button and tap on the notification bell for future home and garden topics. And here we have a nice little harvest. You can see that there are grapes that did come from Jamaica too, but the bunches, if you notice that they are, they're closer, the clusters are tighter, so they look a little bit different than the ones that you would get, say, you know, in um, the United States and other um, non-tropical areas. And this right here is actually um, pumpkin. That's how it grows here, lighter shade. It's a lot thicker and used to make so many nice dishes there. And now onto the medicinal plants. This one is actually noni right here. It grows in other countries to other tropical countries, not just the Caribbean. It has so many uses, guys. I would, you know, tell you to really try and do some research on this plant because it, you know, it does so many wonderful things. And the same can be said here too for the moringa plant. Um, this tree right here, it has a multitude of uses health-wise. And every part of the plant is used, the leaves, the flowers, um, you know, the stem sometimes, uh, and the pods, you know, the pods that are on it as well. So you'll see one here that I'm showing you that is also used as well. And of course, you probably may have heard of Moringa tea because that's sold as well to little tea packets. So that is something that is um, typically available almost everywhere in the world right now. You can actually um, get that and have yourself a nice cup of healthy tea. And now onto the danger zone, guys. This is actually the poisonwood tree, and this grows in the Bahamas. It's also in some parts of southern Florida. And as you can see, the trunk it has that color and the darkness and the kind of orangey look. And that's kind of like a warning. And we're told that this is actually much worse than if you get caught in poison ivy. So if you're ever traveling in those areas, guys, be on the lookout for that trunk. It's a clear warning. Stay away from it. So I'm going to leave you with something that's more calming and comforting, which is a typical coconut tree blowing in the breeze. I hope that you enjoy these flowers and fruits. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope this inspires you. I'll link my videos at the end of the Jamaica playlist so that you can see it and you can just enjoy all the things that are tropical. I thank you to my, say thank you to my faithful subscribers who keep coming back every time. Have a wonderful day and see you in the next video.